a Fort Payne based company develops a monkeypox test. North Alabama Electric Co-op GM pleads guilty to diverting funds and authorities are searching for a missing Gunnersville man. Today is Wednesday, September 7th, 2022. These top headlines and your Northeast Alabama weather from Mountain Mornings by Mountain Valley Newspaper. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. We hope your day is starting off great. We will begin with the Northeast Alabama weather forecast. Wednesday, September 7th, looks to be a fairly nice day. It looks like our high temperatures will be around 82 degrees. We may see 83, but I don't anticipate we'll be much warmer than that. Low temperatures will be around 66 during the night. Looks like that as far as weather is concerned, we will have a pretty cloudy morning. I wouldn't be surprised to see some fog as you head out towards school or towards work. So don't be surprised to see some fog as you travel off of sand or Lookout Mountain, or if you're coming up those mountains, just look out for that and be careful as you're driving. Rain chances will stay relatively low for the day, around 30%, but of course, just like Tuesday, we could see pop-up showers at any time, maybe even a brief thunderstorm or two. Rain amounts will stay relatively low throughout the day. And now to our headline stories. As the nationwide number of monkeypox cases nears 20,000, one company in North Alabama is helping test against the virus. DTPM is a small building in Fort Payne that's creating a nationwide impact in medical field. Their new monkeypox test is the latest molecular test that DTM offers. DTPM sells laboratory solutions like test kits and machines to medical offices, drug courts, and reference labs throughout the United States. The monkeypox test kit looks similar to the swabs that doctors would use to test for COVID-19. But instead of swabbing inside the nose, symptomatic people with monkeypox are swabbed on open sores. A machine then uses molecular testing to see if the sample is positive or negative for the monkeypox virus. The company was able to develop the test quickly in part from the hard work they put in developing COVID testing in 2020. DTPM has had a COVID PCR test since before the pandemic was named a pandemic. Back then, they were testing thousands of samples a day as COVID cases skyrocketed. Our next story comes from Jackson County. An employee of North Alabama Electric Cooperative has been arrested for allegedly diverting funds through his company to another company and back to himself. Court documents show that Bruce Purdy has entered a plea agreement in which he admits to sending $200,000 since March 2020 to a separate company, which he then paid himself $135,000. In the fall of 2021, an anonymous letter was sent to the NAEC Board of Directors alerting the board that the company was paying another company monthly and that the other company was paying Purdy. When confronted by the board, Purdy originally told them that it was repayment of a personal loan. As part of the plea agreement, Purdy agrees to pay restitution and waive his rights to appeal for chance at a lighter sentence. The agreement outlined that his maximum punishment is imprisonment for no more than 10 years, a fine of no more than $250,000, supervised release no longer than three years, and a special assessment of $100. On North Alabama Electric Cooperative's website, Purdy is listed as the general manager and court documents show he has worked for NAEC for 30 years and, for the last 10, has served in the general manager's position. And the community of Gunnersville needs some help. Authorities are asking for the public's help to find a missing man in the Gunnersville area. James Tracy Denson was last seen on August 1st in Gunnersville, according to the Marshall County Sheriff's Office. Denson has access to a 2008 Chevrolet 1500 and a 1999 BMW 3231. If you have any information on Denson's whereabouts or have seen him in the area, please contact the Marshall County Sheriff's Office at 256-582-2034. And now your Bible verse for the day comes from the book of Psalms 119 verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Have a great Wednesday, everyone. Mountain Mornings is the morning news podcast from Mountain Valley Newspaper. Start your morning with us with a brief five-minute news podcast for the Northeast Alabama area.